Hey, how are you today? I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna share you how to build the electric bike from the scratch. Especially if you wanna build your Brampton, become the electric bike. In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, what all the components that you need if you wanna build the electric bike and how to put it all the components together. So, without further ado, let's get started. So this is the bike, this is the Brampton electric bike. So let's review the component, what all the component that we need to build the electric bike. So we mentioned one, one by one. Let's check one by one all the component then how we, how we root it together uh, to make like a fully electric bike. So the first one we need to build the electric bike is the controller. And then for this controller, we have a lot of options. So the controller has the specifications like how many amps come up from the controller and then how big is the fault. So this one, my specification is the maximum current can out from this controller is 35 ampere and the voltage is 48. So this controller is quite big and this controller also can handle farad or battery from 36 volt until 52 volt battery so this one is really good controller and then the second component is the hub motors and the hub motor also we have a lot of option here so this one the one that i use is the small one the uh, the the specification is 250 watt the nominal is 250 watt but actually the maximum power can output from this motor can be reached until uh, 500 watt and if you want to build for you Brampton you have to concern about the OLD the wide of the overlock uh, distance so because Brampton originally Brampton the wide for the port only 75 millimeters but if you want to use the 75 millimeter also uh, there are some option for that uh, there are some company they make the small motor really narrow uh, OLD is about like 75 millimeter you can use it and the one that I use it is the 100 millimeters in the standard one and then the next component is the display so this is the display the one that I use is the small display I don't like the big one because it's quite difficult to put in the uh, Brompton handlebar because you know you have to think about when you fold this bike somehow if you not manage to put the correct position this one the display will hit the will hit the pork when you fold it so that's why uh, my option I just use the small one you can see here so this is very simple display this display only showing the compact information so this one is just turn on the motors and then this is the up and down to set the pedal assist so in this case we have uh, 0 to 5 0 means you don't have assist on the, on your uh, on your bike and 1 is the lowest one and then 5 is the highest one so we have the display and then the next one is the this one is the pass sensor uh, to detect the the crank if move then it will send the signal to activate the motor so we can say the basic component only uh, very less so we have the controller and then we have the motor and we have the display and the next one is the is, is the pass is the pass sensor to detect the pedaling and the next one is the battery so this is the battery in my case i use 48 volt battery and the capacity is is around 7 amp hour uh, from my experience from my test if you fully charge you can use until uh, 85 or maybe 90 90 kilometers so it's quite far it's almost 100 kilo it depends on the pedal assist in my case in my test i use uh, pedal assist level 3 so level 3 my maximum speed is 27 km per hour then i can use this battery until like 80 to 90 kilometers so it's quite far and I have another component here uh, this is called uh, DC to DC bus converter so this component 
to maintain the voltage uh, because you know all the electric bike the way it works is based on the battery so if the battery like fully charged maybe the capacity for the port is around like uh, 56 volt and when it's almost empty and then the volt it will be gradually decrease to around like 32 volt so if you ride in the bike you will feel like the first one hour the top speed is really high like uh, 27 km per hour but after one hour it decreased to maybe about 25 km per hour so that's why you need this component and then this component the way it works it will maintain your output for example if you set for the battery 48 volt from the full battery until the battery empty the output will keep maintained in 48 volt it depends on how you set you can increase the voltage from 48 to 52 or to 56 it depends on your need it's really good to have this component to maintain the voltage in my test if I connect this uh, component and I set to uh, 52 volt it, it is the maximum a capacity for 48 volt battery uh, the distance a little bit uh, reduced but it's not that too much so without this one maybe the maximum range i can reach like 90 kilo until it's really really empty it's completely die but if i use this one the maximum range uh, i can reach only like 75 to 80 so it's reduced about uh, 5 to 10 kilo maybe so it should be okay so after after we see all the component and then let me explain you how to connect all the component together and how do i connect the battery to put the battery on the back and then to connect this battery to the carrier block let's check the detail so this is the controller uh, i have the reason why i put i put the controller here in front of the fork because you know if you if you cycling like climb the hill this controller uh, can be really really hot the same like the motors the motor also can be really really hot because it draw like continuously uh, 500 watt or maybe like 300 watt like all the time so this one is can be really really hot so that's why i put in front of the port so the wind can like facing this uh, controller directly so it can help to cooling the controller and from this controller i just connect this cable to this uh, from the motor and then this controller uh, come out with one two three four cable so one cable for the battery so one cable for the battery and then one cable for the uh, pass sensor and then one cable for the display so let's see so this is the way i routed the the cable so so this is the uh, the pass sensor the pass sensor go to this directions and then go to another side uh, you can see here and then uh, from this cable hold on let me rotate the bike so this is the cable from for the uh, for the pass uh, pass sensor and then this is the cable for the display so we can see here from the display go to this directions and to this direction go to this here so i just connect the display here and then the the pass sensor here so it connect together i think it's quite okay right the way i routed the cable is really nice it's not like so messy so this is it should be okay so we already talked about all the component how we connect the component together and now let's discuss about how to put the battery on the bike uh, because i just built the connector here and then those all the battery and let's check the detail uh, for this battery and then how how do we put on the bike first of all uh, so the way i put the, ba the battery on the bike i still want to use brompton bag because I don't want to separate be between the battery and then my Br my Brompton bike. I, I want to put the battery together with my Brompton bag. So I think it's more simple to uh, to to use it. And I built the connector here. 
So this is the original carrier block from Brampton, and then I just make uh, two connector here. So this is this uh, this connector. I just put the copper here, and then this copper just for the plus and minus the battery, plus and minus, and then I design the connector. I use the XT60. Uh, and then this connector will connect to the uh, controller uh, which is I explained it before so from this controller there's some one cable for the battery and then this battery just connect for via X XT60 connector and then just plus minus to this uh, carrier block and then from this carrier block uh, let me show you from the back side uh, and uh, so this is the connector uh, from the back side and I just build the connector like this so this is the plus one and then this is the minus one and I use the spring here uh, to mitigate you know if you cycling and then the road is not really flat then your back will shaking like this right so if you put spring here it will maintain the connections it will not drop the connect uh, connection right so this is the function of the spring. Uh, this is the way uh, why I put the spring here. And then uh, this what what we call uh, the carrier block. Uh, I just put it here. And then I put the battery inside the bag. And that's it. And that's it. So uh, let's see if we connect all the uh, uh, all the battery. And then if you want to see, uh, let me show you how is uh, the final look when I put the battery uh, on the Brampton. This is what it looks when you already put all the battery on, on the Brampton. So we can see here, it's pretty nice, right? So we use the original Brampton bag to put the battery inside and still use the original carrier block. And now it's become the electric bike. It's really clean and nice. Now, Let's review how is the sounds because one of the concern of the electric bike is the sounds. Many people they don't like the sounds because the sounds, the buzzing sounds, sometimes is quite annoying. And uh, this uh, this buzzing sounds actually coming from the hub motor because this hub motor we have a lot of design, uh, a lot of model. So some of the some of the hub motor. They use the gear motor, so there are some combination gear inside. This one will generate the sounds, like a buzzing sounds. And some of the motor also, they use the direct direct drive. This direct drive, there's no sound at all, but the shape is really big and heavy. So the heavy is, the, the weight is about like five kilo, so not many people want to use it. So they prepare to use the small one because it's light, it's still like very easy to carry on. And, but the problem is the sound. But I have the solution for that. So I already buy one of the hub from Befang. So this hub, many people review, they say the sound is super silent. Even the people around us, they cannot hear the sound. So let's see. If I already finished the project, then I will share it to you. So after we review so many things here, now let's let's check how is the sound for uh, for these motors. So I just put the the mic here, and then let's try to write, and then hear uh, how is the sound. So uh, that's all the information uh, from me about the Brampton electric bike DIY. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to comment to write down in the comment sections below. I will try to answer. 
and keep follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.